Hello and welcome to the Corpus Linguistics Workshop with Dr. Barami Kiyoshi. Today we will look at how to use the word cloud function in the NCONG version 4.1.0. This function allows us to present the result more visually in the form of word cloud. So let's get started. To use this function, you need to click on the word cloud tab right here. Mm -hmm. We can create a word cloud from a passage if you copy and paste it on the scratch pad like this. Okay. You can paste it here. Okay, and you can create a word cloud based on this passage. So here is the word cloud. Okay, it consists of the words in the passage. The words with the higher frequencies will be bigger than those with lower frequencies. You can also create a word cloud based on outputs from <coughs> quick file cluster ingram collocate word and keyword. So Let's create a word cloud from a keyword list. <clears throat> okay, so um, if you select this and click start, you will create a word cloud. Okay, so here are the keywords with higher frequencies in the target corpus will be bigger. If you would like the size to be based on other criteria like the range or not the normalized frequency you can change it right here okay and next uh, you can also adjust the image size okay or the max word okay to specify how many words should be in the cloud for example if you want just 30 words now there'll be only 30 words in the word cloud. Okay. And also we can change the color scheme if you go to color setting. Okay. And you can change uh, to other color scheme like this one. <clears throat> okay. Or you can change the background color as well. Okay, let's select purple. Click start. Okay, so you have purple background. Mm -hmm. And you can also change the font as well. You can uh, change the type of the font. Okay, and also the font size as well. Okay, so for some readers, this word cloud will make the presentation of results more meaningful and visually appealing than just numbers in tables. And you can save the image by clicking on the, the diskit icon right here, and then you can save it where you like. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. Goodbye.